E. apartment this is awful good morning good life <laughs> I am obviously not saying good morning at a good morning moment this is a if you read the title a special little episode I don't usually do stuff like this but we're trying to get outside of the box for vlogmas and so for today I thought I would show you my nighttime routine and I had to start it right now in my filthy dirty living room because I did something a little out of the ordinary to start this is my favorite Lululemon yoga. Is that what it's called? God, I haven't said that word in a long time. Lululemon. I don't know why. Uh, Lululemon yoga mat, which I use for pretty much any fitness I do in my living room. I have been trying to fit in my workouts in the morning before I go to the office. Kind of updated you on the changing situation with my routine. So it's still something I'm exploring and learning about and so it does not always happen. So today was one of those days and my typical routine right now is just to do a 30 minute workout on an app. So I just kind of flip between some different options and um, just do what I'm feeling. And that's a lot of fun. Lucy's asleep because she had a long day at daycare and I need to take a shower. So I'm sharing my nighttime routine with a start of this doesn't happen every night. <laughs> Especially since like, look, I don't have anyone else here but me. My husband's out of town today, so that's also out of the ordinary for a nighttime routine, but I thought I would take you through it anyway. So I'm gonna jump in the shower. I've ordered takeout, which is also on its way, and um, that, that's become a little bit too routine lately, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but after that, I'm gonna show you a lot more about what I do before bed to prep for a good morning a, and a good morning routine and a good day and a good life and all those things which obviously we're all working on, so. This is how we're starting. <laughs> Thank you for your forgiveness. Lucy, I don't vlog in the dark very often, but when I do, you're in it. Did you have a good day at daycare? Not much of a talker. I think this is gonna be the echoey vlog, so. I'm <laughs> just letting you know, I know what's going on, but this is how we do the nighttime routine. So like I said, the working out in the evening and the shower doesn't typically happen. So I actually had to stop myself earlier after I got out of the shower from doing my skincare routine because I forgot that I was supposed to be walking you through it. And so typically I'd be doing it right around now, eight o'clock or so when I'm planning on going to bed in about an hour or so. Anyway, clearly I've already got all my makeup off and that's because took a shower but since my skincare routine is such a big part of my evening routine I'm gonna show you all of the steps as quickly as I can so this is I have to put my glasses back on I can't see anything I cannot see anything this is the makeup remover that I have been using and I love it a lot I was gonna play with getting a different scent because I tried their sample. Like their main scent is actually really nice, but this rose cleansing balm is kind of Oh, I love it. It just like, it feels like bedtime whenever I smell it. So this is how I remove my makeup. And my cleanser is by Fresh. It's their soy face cleanser. So really love this too. Already used it, both of those things I used in the shower. So um, probably a little too late, but I'm gonna move on to my toner, which previously I was using fresh. I was using a rose deep hydrating facial toner, and this has been, I don't know how well my, my zooms are gonna be. This has been really nice, real rose petals, like very authentic toning situation. But I tried a sample of Elemis the last time I ordered my makeup remover, and their ginseng toner has been money. I love it. So if you don't know, I mean, toner's just nice. Sometimes I'll put it on a swab and like, cause it really gets that leftover makeup that might still be there. Toner is nice for that reason. But since I know for a fact that my face is fairly clean, I'm just spraying it on. And it's like balancing pH levels, stuff like that, really helping you with the rest of your skincare routine to set in properly. So typically I'll go to my eye cream next. And the one that I've been using is Dr. Dennis Gross, vitamin C. I mean, you can't go wrong. If it's in orange packaging, you know it needs to go underneath your eyes. Okay, let's just make sure I can see what the heck we're doing here. Yes, the C plus collagen, brighten and firm. Eye cream. It's so funny, I don't usually have to see what I'm doing when I do this. 
<laughs> I can't even tell if I'm in focus. That is how bad my eyesight is. So I usually use my ring fingers, kind of pat it in, and then pat it in. And I do this now because I want it to set before I do my night cream or any other step. I just, I need this to set in all by itself. Very important cream to, you know, not be like, you never rub it in, not blending it with a lot of other products. And while that's setting in, I like to give it about two minutes. So that's when I brush my teeth. I've got my Quip, which runs for two minutes. While I brush my teeth. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. Oh, I forgot. I usually do another step while I'm brushing my teeth. Let's start over. I forgot. I've been using eyelash serum. Now I have to see again. Oh my God, this is so much harder when I have to tell somebody what I'm doing. This is the eyelash serum I've been using. I tried a couple times doing extensions, eyelash extensions. It is so not worth the money if you can nail this process. I use this eyelash serum, works like a charm, makes my eyelashes grow very strong. And then I'll also get a lift every six weeks or so. And um, the combination is some pretty solid eyelash. I'm sorry, I have a literal planet growing on my eyebrow and that's from an eyebrow treatment I tried, which I'm not 100% sure of anymore. But my lashes are pretty strong because of this, so let's see if I can do this here. Just like a little bit. The reason I should have done this before is it's kind of like my eye cream. I want it to kind of set before I start rubbing creams all over my face. So now I can get back to brushing my teeth. Uh-oh, I hear a dog. So now that that's all set in, got my teeth cleaned, flossy floss floss. Night cream, you might be asking yourself, what is this contraption? This right here is the key to not wasting valuable product in your nails, <laughs> okay? So instead of like, I try to use a little scooper because I spend a good money on skincare because it is one of the most important things that you can do for your skin. So I don't like to waste the product. My night cream is also by Fresh. Really love the smell of this. Try to get just enough on my face. Save the rest for later. Always put the rest on the neck. Anytime you've got a little bit too much, always got room on your neck. And I always go up. I don't push too hard. I don't like to push down on my neck. So if I were doing serum, I, I, and I'm not going to tonight because I just did it last night. And I don't, I don't like to do this, especially a retinol, more than a couple times a week. And my retinol is by Sunday Riley, which is called Luna. And this stuff is debomb.com, okay? But you gotta be really careful with this kind of thing. That's like $100, $100, $100. I'm just kidding, it's not that expensive. <laughs> but it's like, woo, don't spill that one. You don't wanna do that. But I'm not doing that tonight. I'm skipping straight to my lip sleeping mask, which I put this stuff on just for the freaking heck of it. This stuff is the best. I don't even know how to explain. My lips have never been more in better shape. I gotta use my tool again. We're gonna use the other side, just a tiny bit. It, it's a true mask too. It's pretty thick, but at the same time, it's like, it feels like you're just putting a really nice cream on. I love this stuff. Mm. You wake up in the morning and like, your whole body is dehydrated except for your lips. It's the best. I love it. That's. Pretty much my routine. I'll probably brush my hair out before I go to sleep, but I'm just trying to get it out of the way right now. So that, I think, is my bathroom routine. Oh my goodness, okay. So, yes, host skincare, I'm not in bed yet. I do wish I was, but I actually kind of like sitting in my home office to collect my thoughts from all the things that have happened for that day. So I like to kind of go through my calendar and look at everything that I did. And if you're not aware, I'm the calendar blocking junkie. So um, typically everything that I've done has been tracked on my calendar at some point. Even if I'm not adding it on in real time or if things change up and weren't pre-planned to get done during that time, I'll go back and kind of do it just because I want to be 
be able to track my time later and what I actually spend my time on. It's a little bit OCD of me. As a matter of fact, my husband was just asking me the other day when we were in the car. We were coming home from a lunch and I had it down for two hours on my calendar and I was like, oh, we're back early and I started editing the appointment on my calendar to reflect the fact that we got home a half hour early and he was like are you really are you really doing that it's a Sunday and I was like um, it's just a habit <laughs> so anyway so it's really easy for me to go back and see everything that we that I, I did today and and what needs to get done this week and so um, at this point I just like to wrap my head around what I have to do tomorrow and so I'll look at what's actually scheduled to get done some things being tasks some things being appointments and I do something called the Ivy Lee method which is basically just a really good way of me not having an endless list of things that I have to do because of course there's an endless list of things that I have to do and I could add something every half hour to my calendar if I really wanted to but that's just not gonna make me the best version of me so the Ivy Lee method is essentially the top six priorities that I would want to get done tomorrow and the goal is that you put them in order you knock them out in order to the best of your ability and then you try to do them and you're probably not gonna get to them all but at least you've got them in a priority order so if you get through the first four or so then you've just got to move those next two to the next day or have a come to Jesus about the fact that maybe you don't need to do them or maybe they can be delegated etc so right now that's what I'm gonna do I'm in my bullet journal bullet journaling so hard my third year I can't believe I'm gonna have a fourth bullet journal it's gonna say 2020 what color should it be I don't know so um, I'm gonna write in my daily task log the six things that I want to get done tomorrow and after that it's perfect pretty much time to tuck Lucy into bed, which you might be able to hear her tapping in the background. I can always hear her tapping in the background. She's kind of like in that stage where she's like, I've got energy, but I could eat. And then also after I eat, I'm gonna pass out like I'm in a coma for eight hours. That's the moment we are shooting for. <laughs> Once that happens, mama can go to bed and read her Kindle, okay? I need my Kindle time. Okay, so I'm gonna do Ivy Lee and then tuck Lucy in and then it's off to sleep. Hmm. So exciting. Adulting so hard again. Yes. I do drink a little bit of calm. I have like different little elixirs I like to drink before bed. But tonight I'm going with some magnesium to help cool my jets a little bit because I do not usually work out at night so I can kind of feel. Even though I worked out at like five o'clock, I should have enough time now to have chilled for bed, but I can still tell that like I'm, I'm a little bit too awake right now. So this is gonna help me kind of calm me down. I actually have more hot water in it now than I usually do. Sometimes I just put like enough of the hot boiling water to just mix it up really well and the rest of it cold. I just prefer like a lot of times when I'm drinking lemon water in the morning or when I'm drinking calm at night, I usually prefer it to be cold. Like, I don't know, I just find it like cold water to be really refreshing. I think I used to think room temperature was where it was at, but no, I've been about that cold water life. But anyway, this is warmer than usual, but it's still very enjoyable. Just a little bit of water before bed. I don't even have to drink this whole thing. It just kind of does the job if I have some of it. I'm not gonna bring you to bed with me because I have boundaries, but I am going to show you my Kindle, which I love so much. I decided to upgrade my Kindle this year because they came out with one that has both eBooks and Audible built into it, and I was like, that's the dream, to be able to toggle between one and the other. The book that I'm reading right now is called Traction. It is by, is it Gino Wickman? I heard about this book, actually I can't tell you who I heard about this book from because it's something I'm not allowed to talk about yet, but some lovely ladies that were a part of a project that I was a part of. 
anyway, we were all kind of chatting about our businesses and things like that and very good recommendations for this book, Traction. And it has been so good so far. Really, really actionable stuff. Some stuff I knew, some stuff I didn't. So that's been really nice. I've been engrossed in it almost to the point where it's not a good fall asleep book because I get so many ideas but also pretty much every book helps me fall asleep if I take it to bed with me so that's what I'm gonna do I need to tuck Lucy in she just finished her dinner and she's taking her final potty break which means it's almost time it is almost time for her to be done. And she needs to be completely done before I even get in bed. Even if I'm not gonna fall asleep right away, this is my sleep buffer period, okay? It's about, actually, I'm, I'm going a little early this, maybe I am tired, man. <laughs> Usually I'm probably not even at this stage, or at least it takes me longer. Maybe it takes me longer when Vin is around because we're kind of like talking to each other and like hanging out still. But it's 8.30 right now, so my if, if my sleep buffer period starts right now, which it is, then I'm planning to be asleep by nine o'clock. And so during this buffer period, it's basically like, okay, you need to start getting your body into bed, coach yourself to go to sleep so you can fall asleep by the time you want to fall asleep so that you can wake up when you wanna wake up. You can always have like a wake up time that you want, but if you don't reverse engineer how much sleep you need to get, it's completely pointless. So yes, on average, I've been waking up at about 4.30 every day. I woke up, I think we did, yeah, Vin actually was up with me this morning because he had a flight out. So we were both up at 4.30 and so tomorrow's gonna be no different for me. So the more sleep, the better. I try to average about seven hours. Seven hours is my sweet spot. I feel good when I wake up. Once I hit eight hours, it's almost too long. But six and a half is like, ooh, girl, you're squeaking by. So I don't know if you found this interesting, but this has been my nighttime routine and I live for it. It's simple, it's ugly. It's dark. It's a lot like my morning routine, actually. <laughs> my morning routine might be like this much more complicated. More on that to come. But my nighttime routine, we wanted to share this first. You know, when I was talking to my team, I was like, I actually don't have any really traditional versions of my routines. It's usually me talking about what they are and kind of giving you glimpses. Like, I feel like this is a really raw version of what my routine looked like when a better time than Vlogmas, right before my book comes out. But I'm basically like thinking to myself, yes, the morning routine is important to discuss, but the nighttime routine is what actually helps you get to a healthy morning routine, in my opinion. I think this is probably the more important one. It's so much easier to eat super late at night or go out with your friends and drink too much or stay up late and watch Netflix. It's really easy to do all that stuff, which ultimately domino effect messes up everything in the morning. So that's why I wanted to share this one first with you. So hopefully it was insightful, interesting. Not sure how you would describe it, but I'm sure there's a word. Leave that in the comments below. <laughs> that's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. As always, make sure you subscribe for good vibes. Kiss the ones you love and go after the life that you want. Cheers. Good night, Lucy. Alexa, turn the light off. Hey, are you struggling to find time for the things you love? Feel like you're constantly on the go, but taking care of everyone else first? You are not alone, and you deserve so much more. Not only are you capable of taking on this challenge, you already have all the tools it takes to make it happen. That resourcefulness is all you need to get activated by your new daily mantra. Good morning, good life. It's my new book, and it launches on Amazon on December 10th. More details at goodmorninggoodlife.com. I just want her to lay her head down. I don't really want to watch her licking. <laughs> okay, that's enough licking. Do the cute thing where you fall asleep. Monkey. All right, well, so much for that. <laughs> See you tomorrow.